was my sister that uh, requested I do a differences in Walmart, so we'll see what we got here. Okay, just so you know, all uh, Walmarts are not created equal. They all have uh, maybe the certain, all the same items in them, in them, but they uh, are quite different in a lot of ways. Not all WalMarts have uh, McDonald's. Uh, not all WalMarts have fruits and vegetables. They'll have groceries, but they won't have fruits and vegetables. So as you walk in the front door, on most of them, uh, here we have some milk. In, in plastic bags for those of you that aren't uh, familiar with uh, milk in plastic bags there they are you have to buy a little container that you put the bag in and then you can pour it from there but anyways getting back uh, they all have uh, groceries but they if they don't have fruits and vegetables they don't have meat that's because there's another store in the vicinity that has that and they just didn't want to compete most of them, you walk in the front doors, and there's the groceries right in front. Some of them have them way off to the left and way off to the right. Uh, there was a Walmart in Thunder Bay that had, in the, men, in the men's washroom anyway, they had a, a syringe box where you could put your dirty syringes in. I don't, they must have a drug problem there as opposed to, somebody said it could be diabetics doing that. If a diabetic is taking a needle, he's doing it at home. He's not doing it at Walmart. So it's got to be a, a drug uh, addict deal there. I don't know. There was quite a few in there, so I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, okay, like I said, they all have um, pr the same items. This one has, in uh, Ontario, has beer, real beer, not your 5% uh, or 0.5% alcohol beer. This is real honest to goodness beer which I've never seen in a Walmart up until this point point. Uh, and then the point system that they have not all Walmarts have all of Quebec you cannot do the point system with your card you cannot buy with your credit card and then uh, pay it off with another card so that you can get points this one uh, in Ottawa here doesn't have that either and um, I'll explain that here in a minute, but it looks like they have all kinds of drinks here. Moosehead beers, they got all kinds of other beers, uh, all kinds of other drinks, but uh, which is strange anyways. So, nice to have, if you like beer. Uh, I'm going to explain the other thing. Now, all Walmarts in Quebec, they don't do that point system. Like, you can't take your... Uh, Walmart MasterCard buy something and then pay it off so that you can get points right away they don't have that and it looks like here in Ottawa they don't have that either so I'm just wondering if the rest of Ontario is the same way now Quebec is the biggest province but Ontario has the longest distance to drive across because of uh, where you know how it's situated so I'm gonna. Ha it's gonna take me two or three days, or if you if you just drive across uh, Ontario, it takes two or three days. Uh, you know, taking your time. But um, so what I'm gonna do is when I check out the other WalMarts, I'm gonna see if indeed that the WalMarts either um, will take your credit card and and uh, pay it off right away. This one doesn't. They, they didn't even know what I was talking about when I told them that. The, the lady at the till says, uh, I, I put in my credit card, or my uh, MasterCard, and I said, well, can I pay that off right away? And she says, well, you did pay already. So it was like, uh, she didn't even know what I was talking about. Even when I went up to the uh, customer service, uh, I had to um, explain it to them. They said, no, we don't do that here. So but they do happen to have, um, they do have the Walmart MasterCard, but they just don't have the point system here. 
Yeah, so like I said, uh, most of them are just walking in the front doors, see if the fruits and vegetables in the groceries are right up front, which most of them are. This one's way off to the left, and uh, some of the uh, Ottawa here has to the right. Most of them are in the center, though, right as soon as you walk in. Um, I still find myself spending a lot of money, like way too much money on, on things, um, things I don't really have to. I have to buy more groceries and uh, make my own food as opposed to eating out a lot. Um, my fridge is not the greatest. It's a camper van fridge. It's, it works on, uh, works on propane which you have to be stopped and you have to be level in order for that to work so it can't be running all the time it can you can plug it into 110 volts it'll run fine then if you're just sitting there and it'll run on 12 volts but the problem with the 12 volts is you, it won't work unless you're plugged into a 120 volt outlet anyways so it's kind of total it's just about useless it, it's supposed to be able to make ice and stuff but I haven't even turned it on um, I have turned it on once with the propane and yes it gets cold and what have you but like I said it has to be within it has to be level as soon as you make it off level the propane won't work and then you can't have it on propane while the vehicles moving so that's totally useless if you're driving using it your van to drive around with that's totally useless uh, so I might have to see if I can pick up a refrigerator which is going to cost like several hundred dollars for a good one I just don't want a cooler and put ice in it all the time that's no good I've tried ice in this one and every couple of days you're having to put you know three 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 dollars worth of ice in it that's no good so I need to actually get a fridge um, a compressor type fridge and that, like I said that's going to be several hundred dollars for a good one and then I have uh, some other things I gotta buy which are gonna be quite expensive. This doesn't come to the top of my head right now. I have an inverter, it's not enough, it's a thousand watts. I need like 1500 or 2000 watts in order to make anything work properly. If I run the microwave, it only runs for uh, less time than it does to warm something up and then it kicks the breaker off. So the wires get pretty hot and the, the breaker pops and it, it, I can't even warm up a nice bowl of soup. Um, there was something else. Um, heaters. I have got a buddy heater, but I don't think that's going to be good enough for winter. I might have to wait till it gets a little cooler. Um, some actually camper vans from Vancouver, uh, they put wood stoves in theirs. Uh, I can't really run a wood stove in mine because it has to have some a clearance of soap far away from certain things because it it gets pretty hot up on top up above so um, around it you need like 20 inches all the way around this thing except like the back but I, I, I mine can't can't handle that so anyway I've been wandering around this little area here for the past I don't know how long and it, uh, the video is going to be really long as long as I keep talking so anyways I got to go do some shopping and we'll get ready for tonight to have some I'll make some food for tonight and get something for tomorrow morning. Okay, talk to you later.